Well, howdy everybody. Uh, this video that we're going to do today, one that I've had quite a few requests for. Um, and this is going to be over the spade bit. Um, now, the way I look at it, the spade is a very refined piece of equipment. So it, this is going to take probably two or three videos. And since this is a type of social media, I'm sure there will be a bunch of comments about how cruel spade bits are and how, well, there's that. But if you are watching this, I guess maybe, I'm hoping if you watch my other videos, you're going to have somewhat of an understanding already, but. If you're one of these people that uh, thinks bits are cruel, don't watch. Just leave and go hang out with your friends that ride in the halters and and just don't even watch it. But if you are, I'm going to have to give a little explanation. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we can see. This is a spade. And this is a spade. Uh, there's different kinds. These are the two that I have. This one I just got. You can tell I don't even have reins on it yet. Um, and it's not rusty or nasty looking yet. So that'll be some fun to try that one out. Anyway, as far as... I guess I'll go ahead and pick this one up. Um... So, of course, you know, people look at it and they go, holy crap, you know, there's going to be people that are just getting all bent out of shape. Okay. A horse's mouth is about like this. This doesn't, you don't have to worry about this going too far back. Um, and also... This spoon is not intended to work off the pallet. The idea is that when you pick up on the reins and the spoon leaves the tongue, that's the signal. That's the other thing. These are It's a signal bit. It's not a leverage bit. Um, you, want, you want the signal so the horse will go back to balance. That's what the curb strap is for. The curb strap is not intended to work as a lever. The curb strap on a spade is a stop. Adjusted properly the way it should be, you should never be able to get to the roof of the horse's mouth with the spade. You, you were never supposed to. That's not the idea. You just pick up on it. When the spoon leaves the tongue, that's the signal. That's the in a rudimentary, if you want to just get as basic as possible, that's how a spade works. And uh, another thing, too, with it, like this straight bar here. When a horse has this in his mouth, he has his tongue like this, and he can, he can hold it. He can pick it up. That's another idea. See, he can pick it up. There's no way you're ever going to get to the bars of his mouth because his tongue can hold this up and you can pull all you want. And if your curb straps adjusted correctly, they can just take a hold of it and run off with you and you're screwed. That's why there is a timeline. There is a protocol. There's steps. This is the destination. This is not, you don't start with this. This is. You kind of end here. Well, that's the idea. But just even if you take your run of the mill um, curb bit here, let's see if we see it. With the tongue relief, when you pull on it, it's going to go directly to the bars. That's the idea. That's how this works. And this is a leverage bit, see? Get this shit out of the way. 
the idea is that this curb is going to put pressure on his chin, which is one of the most sensitive parts of their body, and cause pain. That's how you get, get them to uh, pay attention. Uh, I mean, if you pull, you know, you anybody that's ridden, I'm not saying these are bad because I use them too. I mean, there's a time and a place for this. Any piece of equipment's only is you know can be used bad, but uh, pain probably wasn't the word to use. But it's it's a different. That's that kind of a bit is pressure and release. Well, what is pressure and release? I'm gonna hold pressure on you until you do what I want you to do. In other words, you're forcing him to do it. The spade is balance and signal. You adjust the balance, as in the spoon leaving the tongue. That's the spoon leaving the tongue is the signal. The horse wants to get back into balance where it found that balance. Which you're gonna, which they find. So, and just even like a snaffle bit. Now, I use snaffle bits too. There's a time and a place for that. You know, a snaffle, it, it collapses and goes to the bars. And I mean, I've seen people that pull straight back on snaffle bits and i just think oh my god snaffle bit was never meant to be snaffle bits are meant to be used laterally side to side but that's not okay hopefully we've gotten past the cruel because they're not cruel they work in the same idea as the the hackamore or the bozal okay so now that we've kind of gotten past that uh, I'm guessing I'm going to have to pick this up. This, this is called, each bit, as we know, has two names, the cheek and the mouth. But with spades, there's almost, there's, there's different kinds of spades. So anybody, this is a Santa Barbara cheek. And that's a spoon spade mouth, or the, a spoon spade. Now, this is called the spoon regardless. Why this is called a spoon mouth, I think, is because it's it's wider here, and it kind of forms, it looks like a spoon like you eat ice cream with, or cereal. That's kind of how that works. And the Santa Barbara cheek is the one I, I like. There's different cheeks you can get. Um, but what I like about it, now it's cold and things well, might not work the way I want to, but this design, there's a reason for it. This round thing here, this is, it's called the bell, but what it is, is it's a counterweight. See, the idea is, when you pick up on the reins, it goes, now this isn't hanging out a horse's head, but let's see if it works. You pick up on the reins, and there. See how it put, how it, try that again. There. So you see, when I pick up on the reins, but when I release, this bell, or counterweight, pushes it back to where the angle of the horse would be without and that's another thing you kind of want to match the angle of the spade of the spoon to the horse that's why you should have more than one spade you should probably have a wall full but they're expensive that's how that works that's the idea but that's that's called a spoon spade this one i just got the other day don't have reins on it yet and I spent all my money on it so I had to make the uh, head stall side deer head stall some of my awesome braiding there 
I made the curb strap too. And I'm actually kind of proud of that. I think I did a pretty good job braiding that. This, um, I would call this an alligator spoon, an alligator spade. It's similar in design and shape to what you'd call the regular spade, but a little narrower. The regular spade, it's the same kind of shape, but it's a little wider. So this is what I would call it an alligator spade, and so would most bit, bit makers. Excuse me. Um, still same old, you know, you got the, I can make it, the cricket. Yeah, I guess we can hear it. Um, cheek. I've looked all over <laughs> to figure out what that cheek is called. This wasn't a brand new bit. This I got, it was used like once or maybe twice. Or it's been in a horse's mouth once or maybe twice, but I got it from a guy that wanted to get rid of it. For He wanted a Santa Barbara like that. And I got it. I got a pretty good deal on it. That's why I got it. But I, I've looked for what this cheek is called. And I don't think it's not a, it's not a Santa Susana and it's not a Santa Maria. The best that I can come up with because it still retains the bell in about the same position as this one. About the end, it has a little more on the front with the bell. And of course, it sweeps back for where your chains attach. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call that a modified Santa Barbara. I can't really think of any other name for it. Um, so that's, those are, those are spade bits, and, uh, let's see, is there anything else we can talk about here in the tack room? I mean, if you want to, I'm assuming, if you're watching these videos, I'm assuming you kind of want to learn about this. So we don't need to get into a, a lot of other bits because, I mean, <laughs> if you're following me, we want to get it, you know, use spades, learn how to use the spades. Um, oh, okay. One more thing I was going to say. So we have picked out a spade and now let's say we've got a horse, we've, we've gone you know the way i think of it oh that's another thing i was going to say some people you know they say maybe you got a like a 15 year old horse that you've been riding in you know